Welcome to my channel. This is a book review of Ready, Set, Grow by Pastor Scott Wilson. Three conversations that will bring lasting growth to your church. As always, if you're interested in this book, there's actually a link in the description below. So this book is a well-written leadership type book for ministry, um, for ministry leaders in a church setting. So if you are a pastor or a minister or a leader or staff or volunteer, like the last book we did, this book will be helpful for you. And if you are not a Christian uh, or not involved in church, then this book is not for you. And there are some other great books uh, that I would recommend that I have reviewed in my channel. But what I love about this book is how clearly everything is laid out. Everything is mapped out so great. And so you know right from the beginning what you are in for. And so you're in for a conversation about church growth, which takes place by first growing the leadership team. Spiritually, then numerically, and then lastly through multiplication. So there are nine chapters in this book, broken down into three sections, um, three sections of three. And so the book begins to tell the story of Scott's church within a three-year period. And so each year being one section. Uh, each year also consists of three things. So this is each chapter here. Um, the conversation that brought change, a description of how those events played out, and lessons learned from that year looking back. And so that is repeated three times. Those are the three sections which make up the nine chapters. At the end of each chapter, there's a section where the team members who are going through the leadership process got to share their experience being under the leadership of Scott Wilson, so we don't just have to take him at his word for it. Um, you know, any leader can say that they're great, but another thing to hear from those that are directly under that leader. So that is helpful. So at the end of each chapter, uh, uh, someone from the team is able to kind of share some insight and in how they were affected by that change. So Scott, he asked his staff what size they thought that they were capable of leading their church. And so they had given an array of numbers that they thought that they could reach, but then Scott gave his number. It was the current size of the church. The church was not going to grow beyond the level of their leadership. The whole book is about growing the level of the leadership. Scott Wilson made his entire staff read 36 books and listen to 104 podcasts in a year. And the results over the next few years were incredible. And so here are some of my favorite quotes. On page 17, he says, our staff had to stop being players on the field. We had to become coaches. So my response would be, you know, pastors are equipped for ministry, like a coach, that are not supposed to be the star player. And so I thought that was really helpful. And last quote here, in page 95, he has this thing called the negative one differential factor of leadership. This is what he says, leaders don't attract and build people who rate higher than they do. So if we take a leader who is five out of 10, they will attract another leader who is going to be at a 4 out of 10 for leadership capabilities. And they will be able to attract someone who's a 3 out of 10 and a 2 out of 10 and a 1. And so if we raise our ability to lead and we become better leaders, as an example, as a 9 out of 10, then we'll be far more effective and can reach leaders who produce leaders who produce leaders and continue to multiply themselves. And so that's what the end of this, that's what this the entire book is about, is growing the church not by trying to get more people in the door or more people to sit in the pew, but by growing the, the team and by not just having more leaders, but by taking the leaders that they already have and just by developing them and growing them spiritually in a closer walk with Jesus and in their devotion time and spending time with God and also just in their capabilities as a leader. So uh, just to end with that, I'm going to say that this was a great read. Uh, it was very easy to read. Um, I read this book in about a week. And, um, and so there are other great church leadership books out there, but this one actually I, is pretty high up on the list. So I do recommend this book for you guys. Um, I continue to have more like it. Please let me know in the comment section what you guys would like to see me review. If there's any books that you guys are interested in. Thank you for watching.